Hello all you losers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're doing a review on this guy. And this is my version of a live action Red Hood. And he's supposed to be paired up with live action Batman. Best Batman design. Ben Affleck Batman. Best Batman design by the way. Love it. Uh, but this today we're talking about this guy. So... Uh, I made him mainly just because I wanted him to be paired up with Batman, of course, but also because he will be something, I'll be using him for a video in the near future. I'm not sure if it's going to be the next video or the video after that, but I do plan on making a stop motion with this guy and Batman pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. So let's zoom in a little bit and then we'll talk more about this guy. Okay, so... We'll talk about his head first. So this head I got off of someone on Instagram. I'll put his um, his Instagram page in the link in the description. But he sent me this head because my 3D printer isn't really working right now. It's kind of broken, so I didn't get a new one. Uh, but I got it off of him and really love it because it looks really good as a live action Red Hood design. And so I just painted it all black really quick, hit it with a bit of some silver. And then I used a Tamiya metallic red on top, hit it with a gloss clear coat from Tamiya as well. And let me get a little tool or something here, probably closer and stuff. Here, toothpick, perfect. And then the eyes here, I have a white dash and some blue highlights underneath it to make it look like it's kind of glowing with a little bit of a blue light. But yeah, so this is the head. Oh, it also doesn't really have like a peg in there or anything. It's just sticky tack. Cause I don't really want to, you know, go through that trouble of making like some kind of peg that'll fit. But yeah, and uh, his jacket here is a standard Mezco Logan jacket. I think you can still buy the Logan on Amazon for like 80 bucks. Uh, but I got this off of eBay. Uh, I just kind of just search Mezco Logan jacket. And this usually shows up from time to time. It's not always up on eBay. You just have to like wait and see until a seller sells it. But yeah, that's what I use. And it's really nice. Oh, let's talk about the base body. The base body is actually a um, Mafex Infinity War Captain America. Um, that was the main plan in the beginning to use that. I ended up buying two because, you know, since I got one already, I might as well just keep one for, you know, display purposes. But yeah, I used the other one as the base for this guy. And I really like the proportions. It's a tad bit shorter than the Ben Affleck Batman, which is great. It's what I wanted. I wanted it to be a bit shorter than Bruce. And it worked out pretty well. Uh, I cut off a lot of things, like the pockets that used to be on the sides. And I filled in. Well, it's really badly filled in. You can kind of still see the shape. But there was originally... Let me get my tooth big again. Originally some kind of, like, design here. Uh, I kind of filled it in, but not really. There was also, like, a knee pad piece here that I ripped off and then filled in the hole with. But, yeah, that's what I kind of did. Uh, left everything else because I thought it looked really nice and I didn't really ruin it. Yeah, so yeah, I got rid of those, hit it with a primer black, the Vallejo primer black that I always use. Uh, if you look back at some of my other videos, I do talk about it. Um, and then the belt here is from a Marvel Legends Gamerverse Captain America. I took that, put it on this guy, and it looks great. It's a really good looking belt. Uh, at some point, I'll put, I'll put gun holsters on this guy, but not right now. Oh yeah, these are also Ben Affleck, Mayfix Ben Affleck Batman hands that I got from uh, someone on Instagram as well, and yeah, okay, now let's talk about the body armor, so here you go, here's the body armor, I got this design off of ArtStation, some guy made a 3D render of a, like, Red Hood design, and this is what I got it from, and then I later found out that this is actually the Arkham Knight Batman design, I had no idea, like, this is Arkham Knight, this is Arkham Knight, uh, I did take liberties in the bat design though, so I made it kind of look in my own way. There's also bullet puck marks, so you see one there, one there. There's another one, bend him over, right there as well. And I just highlighted those with silver to make it look like, you know, the armor's made of like metal and stuff. And I, look, I think it looks really good. This is probably the most detailed figure I've ever made since it's live action. I wanted to make uh, as much detail as possible. And this is probably the most detail I've ever done. And I probably won't do that again. But yeah, you look at the collar area, some metal highlight bits, some screw bits. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Oh, and also if you look inside, I didn't do anything to the arms. Because it's he's going to be wearing the jacket all the time. So I didn't see any point. So the arms are 
plain, but the butterfly joints I did color in black just in case it kind of shows up occasionally if I do something like this. But yeah, those arms will never be shown, so I didn't really uh, do anything to those. And here, talk about the boots. So originally the boots were like covered in all these kind of like sculpt and belts and stuff. Uh, I completely dremeled those down and then I sculpted over this uh, boot design along with it. So I had like these straps. Man, these straps were really difficult to make. Let me zoom in a little bit more. But yeah, these straps were extremely difficult to make. I sculpted in like those little buckle pieces and an extra strap where you put the strap into and like some, you know, like pin bits and stuff like that. But I think it turned out really well. I also had like these stitching patterns in here as well. They go down to this, into the boot shoe part. And yeah, I think it looks really good. I didn't do anything to the bomb treads, just left those alone because I think they look good enough. But yeah, those boots were done. All hand sculpted. Looks great. Love it. But yeah, that's basically about it. I didn't do anything to like the back or anything. I just colored it black. But this is just the original Infinity War Captain America black, like back design. I didn't do anything to it. And yeah, that's basically all I've done to this guy. Uh, let me go through some of the weapons since a lot of people ask me on Instagram. So these are the weapons I gave him. Uh, these came originally with the Marvel Legends uh, Winter Soldier, the newest one. Uh, so we got this kind of rifle here. I don't know what kind of rifle this is. I'm, I'm honestly, like I'm almost 100% sure this is based off of a Nerf gun of some sort. Like if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, because this is does not look like any gun I've ever seen in my life. And here's one of the handguns. Again, no idea what kind of handgun this is based off of. You can't really tell. There's this random compressor in the front, a rail in the top, some crazy looking grip. That's why I think this is probably Nerf gun based. So I might replace these weapons in the future, but for now this is what I've got. So yeah, scope, compressor, extended mag, uh, really cannot tell what kind of gun this is based off of. But yeah, those are the kind of weapons I've given him. And of course he comes with all the air hands that the original Mafex Batman uh, comes with. But yeah, really happy with how he turned out. I think he looks great. Can't wait to animate with him as well. That's going to be freaking awesome. But yeah, and he also retains all the original articulation, of course. Nothing really done to make it hindered or anything. But yeah. Oh, I also gave him the amazing Yamaguchi Arkham Knight weapons, like the, the daggers and the katanas. If you check my Instagram, you'll be able to see it. But yeah. Uh, let's do one last final little comparison for you guys here. With the Ben Ath like Batman. I think it definitely looks good enough to be like live action y looking, for sure. Uh I think honestly better than the HBO Max version. I mean I, I think it's still a good design, the HBO Max version, but I definitely prefer mine more, of course, than the HBO Max version. Yeah, one last final look at the chest design and ab design armor for you guys. Head to a little roundabout, and yeah, there you go. Good old quickie review, and I hope you guys enjoyed that review. And do expect to see these two very soon in a video together. Other than that, see you guys later.